when Manchester City were relegated to the third tier of English football 21 years ago, the only budget that wasn't cut was the one funding its youth set up. On that dark day in May 1998, Jim Castle had only been City's youth development head for a year but he had won his first battle. A year later, Castle's staff discovered Kieran Trippier. Another seven years went by and they found a six-year-old called Phil Foden. Money well spent. You may say Philip was a unique talent at six, recalled Castle. He was a natural, messy like the way he covered the ground. He had low gravity, in and out of things I look at him now and think. Come on Philip. We are just waiting for the next growth thing. After that he will fly. City haven't seen a fraction yet of what he has. Once he grows again and goes on a run he will be going past three or four players with the ball. Like he did as a kid. Just like Messi. He will be in an England squad in 18 months for certain. Castle is 71 and no longer working in mainstream football. Recovering well from cancer, he watched much of last summer's World Cup from his hospital bed. Trippier the scorer of England's goal in their semi-final loss to Croatia, was in regular contact. He texted me the night before that game, smiled Castle, over lunch in Cheshire. He had heard I wasn't very well and wanted to say thanks for all that I had done. We should have kept Kieran and loaned him but the club had Micah Richards and Pablo Zabalita at the time so he was sold to Burnley. But Kieran struck the ball like a Premier League player as a nine-year-old. You look for things in young players that they will never lose. And that was Kieran's. He is the best technical fullback we have and the best crosser of the ball since Beckham. I am not blaming anyone for letting him go. But I suspected it would be our loss and not his. The city castle knew was vastly different from the one we know now. Before the 2008 takeover, his youth setup was run on a shoestring with a tiny staff based at a facility shared with the local community. Still, a man whose own career was ended by knee trouble after a handful of appearances for Barry oversaw an academy that produced 39 players for City in the Premier League and 25 who have gone on to play in international football. In 2008, Castle's kids won the FA Youth Cup City have not won it since and players like Sean Wright Phillips, Joey Barden, Daniel Sturridge, Casper Schmeichel, Michael Johnson, Michael Richards, Stephen Ireland, and Wayne Hennessy made City more than £60 million in transfer fees. I still get pride when I see one of ours score in lead 2 because we provided that platform. Castle smiled. Michael Johnson could have played in the City first team now. Trippier could also dot and Daniel Sturridge is still technically the best England striker we have. Vision, can score goals, can play with the others, pass selection. Possibly we let ourselves down in England by not working hard enough with mentoring. It shouldn't stop with age. In our FA Youth Cup winning side, 
I never said anything to Daniel about do this, do that. I would just quietly say I need you tonight and if it wasn't going well for him I would just move him round the pitch. That was all he needed sometimes he just needs managing. Whether the big managers in the game want to do that I don't know. Isn't that what they get paid for? Joe Barton you could front up. He was tough, a street fighter, but was never an ounce of trouble. I loved him because he just wanted to play. I knew he would go on to coach. He never wanted to talk about contracts, just the game. Sean Wright Phillips was the same. I had to ring Sharon his mum up and say, he is 17 soon. We need to get him on a pro.